Okay, we welcome to Marvin Leal, and he wants to go right straight to questions. They're going to be centered over here mostly, but go ahead. Marvin, uh, Tyler Shaw with KBTX and College Station. You guys have nine starters coming back on, on defense. How special can the, this year's group be? Uh, this year's group's, um, this group can be very special. Just having so much experience and just being able to know our standard as a whole and being able to teach the young guys what it's like to play in the SEC before the games and the season starts. So it's going to be amazing. Okay, in the back row. How much are you personally looking forward to having Alabama come to Kyle Field? Personally, I'm looking forward to every team coming to Kyle Field and just being able to play at the highest level against playing against the best. That's, that's what I love to do. That's what I always love to do. So being able to knock down the national, defending national championships, that would be, that'd be good. But I'm looking forward to every single game. We're going to go to your left on the second row. Hey, DeMarvin, Justin Keggs, TV and College Station. Given the way last year ended, how close you were to the playoff, what's the vibe after spring and just the confidence of this team right now continue, seems like it continues to grow? The team can grow every day. You know, we, we know what our standard is, and we know exactly what we did last year that we didn't succeed in. And so being able to correct those is very important to us. And also just being able to just uh, let it be known that we're not done yet. Like last year was just a glimpse of what we can do. We're going to stay on the left side, second row. Hey, DeMarvin, Jacques Doucet, WAFB TV. Um, what is your kind of observation being on the inside of what Jimbo Fisher is building at Texas A&M in terms of recruiting classes and culture um, since he's gotten there? Jimbo has just been able to, he just tells the truth. He just tells you what he's going to expect out of you, what our standard is, what our culture is becoming. And he just, he lets you know that it's not going to be easy. It's going to be something you'll have to work for every single day. And when it comes to recruiting, I think the recruits love that because they know that it's not going to be easy in the SEC. And so if you know that you're going to have a coach that's there pushing you day after day, greatness is in. We're going to go happening. to your right, second row. DeMarvin, Mike Lucas, KXTV and College Station. You guys went 9-1 last year, just missed the college football playoff. How do you guys kind of build off that success and hopefully take that next step forward in 2021? We build off it just by doing what we've been, what we finished doing. We finished with setting a standard Orange Bowl game against North Carolina, and we've been continuing it, continuing it throughout the spring and throughout the summer. So we know what we need to do. In the front row to your right. Uh, kind of going off that theme a little bit on, on you know, building on your success, um, you know, with the defense in particular, you guys have so much experience coming back. What are you guys doing um, to take even another step forward than from what you were a year ago? Uh, what we're doing is we're competing. We're competing with the guys that just came in. We're competing with each other. And we're just challenging each other every single day, just making sure that iron sharpens iron. Go back to your left, second row. DeMarvin, being such a veteran team now, I know obviously you'll have a new quarterback and, and new four offensive linemen. But besides that, there's so many guys back. Being a veteran squad, what does that do entering a season? It just gives us more opportunity, more opportunity to show what we can do, give us more opportunity to get our names out there, to give us more opportunity to just become us, become a new culture, a new generation, a new phase of Aggie. Second row to your right. What are your battles with Kenyon like in practice? Oh, they're amazing. Always going back and forth, like I said, iron sharp is iron. So he may win some battles, I'm gonna win some too. And so just going back and forth and we're competing, it just, it makes the game a lot easier. Back on the front row. Last year you had a, a pretty big uh, interception. Uh, I believe that was uh, Alabama. Mm -hmm. um, this year when you're, you know, you're looking you know, individually, you're gonna 
is a pick six in the near future for you? If it's God's will, then yes. I'm very much looking forward to it. I definitely didn't score last year, but I'm looking forward to making that one up. You want to go back to your left, second row? Fair to say maybe more sacks has got to be a priority of the defensive line this year. I know you're, you get there a lot, but actually getting the quarterback to the ground, how much has that been an emphasis, Marvin? Oh, it's, it's been em emphasized so many times. Just being able to uh, race to the QB, that's what we all do. We compete in everything that we do, and getting to the QB, we've emphasized that the most. Stay on there on the right. Go ahead. What have you seen from uh, Zach and Haynes? I know you're on the other side of the ball, but you get to kind of go against them. So what have you seen from the two young quarterbacks battling out to be Kellen's replacement? I've seen them mess up and take all that yelling, all that adversity, and not let it phase them. I've seen them step up to the plate, both of them. I've seen them compete against each other. I've seen them help each other. I've seen them become leaders of the offense like we needed them to be. To your left again. Obviously, you and Kenyon have gotten a lot of preseason love. Uh, you speak on that, if you pay attention and all the accolades you're getting. And uh, just obviously, what does it mean for you to, to be here representing A&M today? Oh, it's a blessing. Just being able to be here and representing Texas A&M, it's something I've always dreamed of. And just being able to accomplish this is very big for me. Front row. How exciting is it uh, going into this year that you'll be playing in front of full stadiums again and a full Kyle Field, you know, as opposed to last year? Oh, that, that's, that's unbelievable. I just feel like it's been forever since being able to play against a full, full capacity. And just being able to think of what third down is going to sound like, that's unbelievable. Okay, go ahead. So there's a bunch of weapons on this offense to Marvin. When, when you look at them in practice, Isaiah, Anias, Jalen, HM, which one of those is the toughest to defend? Hmm. I don't really know which one is the toughest to defend because I'm not out there guarding them. But I would have definitely have to say every single one of them does the job. No matter if it's running a route, blocking, catching a ball, it's they all can do whatever they need to do to be successful. We have time for a couple more. We go to the second row. The moment you walked in today, you had your shades on, you were looking like a superstar. Just, I have to ask, because all the players coming through SEC Media Week have been swagged out. Mm -hmm. Who do you think has the most swag in the SEC? And then talk about a little bit about what thought process went into your outfit today. I would have to say me and Kenyon Green have the best swag. I'm not going to lie to you. It's just being able to dress up and finally not have to wear, you know, athletic clothes, pads, all that, just being able to dress up and be us. It's, it's been fun. It's been amazing. And honestly, I just put the suit together. Yeah, my mom, I got to give credit to my mom. She, she definitely helped me throughout this whole process of getting this set up, the suit, the shoes, all of it, the socks. And just she put me on. She showed me how to dress, really. Final question to your left here, second row. DeMarvin, one of the guys you've got to replace, obviously, is Buddy behind you. Uh, I know you're focused in front of you, but you, you can see what Aaron and, and White are doing behind you. Uh, what kind of growth have you seen from them and what's your confidence in linebacking group? I've seen those guys. I've seen those guys definitely give each other the hardest time just to, just to make sure that they all knew what their assignments were. Making sure that with Buddy being gone that nobody misses a beat. You know, Buddy was a, a good part of our defense and he helped us out a lot when it came to communicating, making sure that we were where we, where we were supposed to be. And Aaron and Andre, Lee, all of them, they just helped us this spring. They've stepped up this spring and shown that, like, we're that guy. We can do this. We got you. Thank you very much for your time. Very nice job.